covering Huntsville, Scottsboro, Fayetteville. Putting the Valley first. You're watching WCDX News at 9. Welcome back. I'm Mary Stackhouse. In recent years, we've seen more discussion in Montgomery on expanding medical marijuana right here in Alabama. Tonight, State Capitol Bureau reporter Rashad Hudson looks at the ongoing debate. I spoke with the family who really got the ball rolling when it comes to researching and testing medical marijuana here in Alabama. It's what's known as Carly's Law, and with the legislative session just a month away, lawmakers are looking to expand it. Carly. The medical marijuana conversation in Alabama started with eight-year-old Carly. Can she talk and walk? No, she can't, but you know, she is a little girl and there's a girl inside there. Dustin Chandler doing what any parent would do for their child. You know, she's just like any other eight year old girl out there. She just, uh, she got, she has CDKL5 deficiency disorder and that's just something that causes her seizures, but we love her just like we love all our other kids. He successfully lobbied the Alabama legislature to pass a bill allowing UAB to provide non-psychoactive CBD oil to children with seizures. And just to be able to get those under control uh, has been really, like I said, it's been a blessing to our family. It's, you know, allowed us not to worry about seizures as much. Since then, Lenny's Law was formed, which opened the door for CBD oil. Both of my sons uh, were diagnosed with ADHD. Mike Duran says he was horrified to learn what was in ADHD medicine. So to combat the disorder, he gives his kids a drop of CBD oil. They get a little drop underneath their tongues, you know, and you know, before bed. And, you know, like I said, it, it, it makes a huge difference for them. Expanding medical marijuana is a hot button issue in the Alabama legislature. I do think that there is an appetite to really look at the issue of America, medical marijuana uh, and looking at the feasibility of it. House Minority Leader Anthony Daniels says he wants the public to weigh in more on this topic. But we're beginning to collect information and data from other states to see kind of how they did it. Daniel says his party plans to file a bill on medical marijuana this session, but right now it's unclear as to what the bill will look like. Putting the Valley first, Rashad Hudson, WZDX News.